What's up, YouTube? What's up? We are United Idiots. I'm Cameron. He is Mason, and that is Eli. And this is Q and A. Today we'll be talking about what we would do in a zombie apocalypse. And going first will be Eli. Starting now. If I would and I was ever in a zombie apocalypse, I would automatically like go to Gander Mountain, go to the store, just. Like, that would be my base, basically, for the entire apocalypse. You basically got everything there is the biggest reason. Like, the, my, the only thing you would, as far as protection and stuff, but, like, you would need to, like, get food and stuff, which I'll talk about that in a second, too, but... It was everything you would possibly need. Guns, ammo, oh my... Blade, like, oh my, like, giant-ass knives and shit, whatever you would need. So I would must stay there. I would, my build a giant ass wall around the store like made a barbed wire and shit uh, and then once I like had everything set up like, I would make posts like around everything with like not like towers just like areas that you would like and I look down like around the area make sure there's no zombies or nothing and there'd be like my like guns around with like scopes and shit like rifles but like my like Mm, probably put some 40 caliber bolt actions around the entire place and then for food you have to my go out get my and just Walmart Walmart that's where you would go get a bunch of fucking food from Walmart <laughs> that's it you go to Walmart steal their food go back to your my base that's it so uh how much time is left a minute. What would you do, like, oh, okay. if, like, as it happened, like, your family within your immediate house, like, turned, or, like, you're in your room and you still have to get through them to leave? Oh, uh, well, I definitely wouldn't kill them, except for maybe you haven't. No, I Because, <laughs> <laughs> uh, obviously, there's no way to turn them back, so I'll just leave. Mm, go. Okay, well, <clears throat> in the event of a zombie apocalypse... I would just like you to inform you all that, and directly in front of my house, there is a good, I really don't know, like, how it goes, but I'm sure it's, like, really nearly close to a hundred-story tall, gigantic, old corn mill. It's, like, a condemned, con condemned, condemned building in front of my house, and it's, like, huge as hell, and the cops and, like, the town people and everything, like, city halls, or, I mean, like, town hall and stuff like that, like, they bore up the outside, so people can't just get in. But on my side, there's like a little, there's a really, really thin um, bar that hangs down from the roof, and it looks really feeble and wobbly, but actually it's a lot more sturdy than people think. And I'm one of the only people who can get up to that pole that I know of and get onto the roof. So probably, if it were to start, and my immediate family return and everything like that, I live in the, I mean, I don't live, I mean, I live in the house, but like my room is in the upstairs window, so I'll kick out the air conditioner and probably jump out right there. And off the, right off the bat, I'll probably try my best to climb up into that building because there's practically no way to get in there without that, getting that pull. And, I mean, I'm sure zombies wouldn't be able to get up there after me. And I'm sure they wouldn't be smart enough to break down the boards and figure out all the really complex passages to get up into the roof part where I'm at. And I'd probably chill there for maybe like a day and a half or something like that until things start dying around on that side. And then like at night or something, I'll probably try my best to sneak down and go to the village pantry that's just a couple blocks away from there and I'd probably get food and supplies that I would need and I, I don't know if I would really need like a gun or anything. I mean I'm sure that'd be handy but I don't know anywhere around like I'd probably have to like stack a few houses to, like try to find like a you know good usable gun if I ever needed one that bad but I mean I'm sure like like I mean I don't know what like the definition of a zombie really could be but I, I don't really think they have like a superhuman sense of smell or just somehow a knowledge to know if you're a zombie or not so I'm sure in the dead of the night I'd be able to sneak past a lot of them and get like food and supplies that I would need and I'd have a backpack with me I'd probably take my backpack so I could carry stuff and I would bring that back up there into like pretty much my base which would be the gigantic colossal building in front of my house and eventually as days would go past I'll probably do my best to go around the town and like stack a bunch of houses and get any materials or guns or ammo or food or just anything I need you know and I after that I don't really know what happened because I don't know how long you'd be able to survive like you know survive off of that because I mean like, food would expire at least in decent years, or stuff would run out. Like, I don't, I don't really know how that would uh, work, but, you know, my main goal would just be to survive and don't die. I mean, that, that's just the last thing I would want to do, is just die or be killed or something like that. 
And in the event where I would, like, see one of my family members, like, trying to, like, if, like, there was an event where I was, like, being attacked by one of my family members, I think I would try to kill them. I wouldn't die. I wouldn't let myself get killed. I mean, like, I, I probably would not enjoy it, but I would probably, I would do my best to defend myself. Stop. I would try to live. You finished it perfectly. All right, so, in my case of the zombie apocalypse, the first thing I would do, uh, if it just broke out, this is, uh, if my family's infected or not infected, I would take my, my ass, I'd take this bag, uh, my grandpa has, like, a right, uh, some kind of rifle and a pistol, I'd probably take the pistol with ammo, stick it on my bag, and we have tons of canned food, uh, downstairs, and so I would take all the canned food and stick it in there, I'd take all the canned food I can get and stick it in this bag, and then I would, we have these giant ass water jugs, that you can put like these giant ash water jugs. So I would stick those in the back of my back of the back of the car that I'm gonna drive with. So I'd, I'd stick like try to stick, like three of those whatever spilled. I'd try to stick them all in the back of my car. Uh, take a cell phone and drive out way out in the open and stay in the woods probably for a couple of days. And then what I'd do with my cell phone is I would try to call all my family members, all my friends, and see if any of them survived. And if they did survive, I would call them and tell them to come to a certain place, meet me somewhere, like on Road 37 or something, right off the Road 37. And we would all meet, and then we would all drive together somewhere safe. I don't really exactly know where it would be safe. I would probably try to get access to TV, watch the news or something. Uh, yeah. So I would try to get together with all my friends and family, and then... We could all probably work together with teamwork to defend defend ourselves. But if they are all dead and say I'm like the last one alive or something, um, what I would do is I would try to live near this giant water tower. I live right next to it. Um, and I would try to figure out how to uh, open the the giant. There's like a giant like bolt you can open up. And you can probably walk up the ladder that's inside of it and get water. And uh, I would... I probably need the right tools, though. Well, these giant, giant ass bolts are like this big, so I would probably go to people's houses and see what I could find. Like I live in a really nice neighborhood, so there's probably a lot of good shit I could probably find. Um, let's see another thing. Another option I could have is like if there's like a lot of zombies, like on land, I can probably hijack somebody's boat because I live right next to a lake. So I'd probably go out on a boat in the middle of the, the middle of my lake, probably for a couple of days maybe. Um, that's probably what I'd do by myself and try to survive as long as I can. And then yes, I would, oh, another thing I would grab before I'd leave here is probably a gas, gas container. Cause we have gas. So I would probably take gas with me. Uh, all the canned food, I, I have canned beans and canned vegetables. And then I have the giant water jugs. I'll take all of those. So that's probably what I, that's probably what I would do during a zombie apocalypse. All right, so that was the um, Q&A.